Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a website on Wix to sell photos online. The first thing you will need to do once on Wix.com, you can create an account for completely free. All you'll need is your email address. After you have created the account, I want you to tap on create new site in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on create new site, you will be redirected to this page. On this page, all you'll need to do, you're going to tap on Wix right here. Once you have tapped on Wix, from here you will see the option to either choose for your website to be built by AI or for you to set it up. I'm going to tap on set up without AI. After you have tapped on set up without AI, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can simply type in the type of website that you would like to create. So since we are selling photos, I'm going to select photographer or you could select photography blog. You can select either one of these options. You then tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you can choose the name of your website. So let's say, for example, simple photos. Then I'm going to tap on next right here. After you have tapped on next, from here you can choose the different features that you would like to have on your website. So for instance, if you would like to add your Instagram feed, you can do that. And then by scrolling down, you can see more features that you can add. So let's say for instance, we want to also add a blog. If you plan on selling videos, you could tap on videos right there. Now we are going to scroll down and since we plan on selling photos, we want to scroll down until we see the option to add online store. So I don't see that option at the moment. So all we'll need to do is we're going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. So let's tap on next real quick and I'll show you what to do from there. Once you have tapped on next, from here you're going to tap on begin with a template. After you have selected begin with a template, with Wix they provide you with numerous templates that you can choose from which will make your website look professional. All you'll need to do is tap on edit for the template that you would like to use. Once you have done that, you are going to give the AI a few minutes while it composes your website in the background. While that is being done, I would recommend that you open another tab and go on to canva.com. Once on canva.com, we are going to be creating our mock-up or another thing that you could also do is add watermark to your photos. Now to add watermark to your photos is quite easy. All you'll need to do is simply upload your company logo or for instance, you could simply type in logo right here if you don't have a logo at the moment. So let's say for example, I were to type in logo in the search bar then I would be redirected to this page and you can see numerous logo templates that you can choose from. And let's say for instance, I would like to use this logo. So I'm going to tap on it. Then I'm going to tap on customize this template. Once you have tapped on customize this template, you'll be redirected to a new dashboard. On this new dashboard, you'll be able to change the name on it. So you could change it to whatever you want. You can also change the background color and then you will tap on share in the top right hand corner and you are going to scroll down and unless you have a paid plan on canva what i would recommend you do is simply tap on share scroll down tap on download and you will select download right there and you'll be able to download it for free once you have downloaded it for free you'll tap right there Once you have downloaded it, what you'll need to do is remove the background. To remove the background, you'll open another tab and you'll simply type in remove.bg. Remove.bg is a platform that you can use to remove the background of a photo for completely free. So all you'll need to do is tap on upload image and you would remove the background. But if you have a paid plan on Canva, what you could simply do is from here, you will simply tap to select the photo. So let's say, for example, right here, 
then after I've selected the photo all you'll need to do now you could simply choose to remove the background so to remove the background all you'll do is tap on color right there to remove it now if you have a paid plan on canva to remove the background of your photo all you'll need to do is tap on share in the top right hand corner scroll down tap on download then you'll tap on transparent background then tap on download right there but again as i said if you don't have a paid plan you could use remove background.bg once you have removed the background you could tap on uploads from the right hand menu option tap on upload files then you are going to simply upload the background better yet the logo as you can see right there once you have uploaded the logo all you'll need to do now you can tap on add page or you can simply go into any one any file size or so on which is the photo that you plan on selling so let's say for example the photo that i plan on selling is let's say this photo right here let me find a random photo let's say let me find a photo real quick so i'll tap right here elements and let's say artwork so do that real quick artwork right here let's say for example the photo that i was planning to sell is this photo right here all i'll simply do is add the photo so let me add it real quick you'll tap right there set it as background image now i'm going to add my logo or better the watermark so all i'll need to do is go back here and i'm going to drag and place the watermark right there and you can place the watermark whether you like to paste it in the bottom or you can place it right in the middle of the photo right there as you don't want persons to simply see the photo and be able to download it without a watermark or so on so i'll place my watermark right in the middle right there so it would make sense for them to copy and download this photo as it wouldn't look good then i'll tap on share once more in the top right hand corner tap on download and then i'm going to download this photo which is page two tap on done then tap on download now that it has been downloaded with a watermark we're going to go back into wix so once in wix once it has loaded up you'll see the option to use the ai to type out content for your website so you can do that if you want but for the sake of time i won't do that then all you'll need to do now you can tap on add elements from the left hand menu option after you have selected add elements you are going to simply scroll down and you can see the different features that you have on wix you can tap on any one of these but what i want you to do first you are going to hover over store right here and you are going to tap on add to site as we'll be adding and you can see right there the wix store is being added once it has been added i'll show you how to add your photos to start selling them online using wix okay so you can see the wix store has now been added you're going to tap right where you see add a product once you have tapped on add a product what i want you to do is tap right here to select all of the photos or products then from there we'll tap on the x to close that we're going to tap on more actions and you're going to simply delete the sample products so we'll tap on delete then tap on delete again then we're going to tap on new product and we're going to select digital file after selecting digital file what you're going to do next you're going to simply upload the photo with the watermark and you're going to upload the photo without the watermark which is the one that customers will be receiving so you can see right here upload file so you'll tap on upload file so let me go back real quick so i'm going to have two versions so let me save one without the watermark so let me do that real quick tap on download right here and let me do that so i'm going to download that now that that has been downloaded i'll go back into wix and i'm going to tap right here upload files 
then from there you can select image so I'll select image right here and I'm going to simply add the image that customers will get after they have completed their purchase so you'll tap on upload media in the top left hand corner then tap on upload from computer and you'll search for the image that you'll be selling so I'll select the image right there select open once it has been uploaded you're going to tap on add to product in the bottom right hand corner then from there you can scroll down you could add the product info so I'll type in right here art then you could add description if you want so by scrolling down you could add description after you're finished you're going to see right where you see images you're going to tap right there as we are going to be adding a cover image now the cover image would be the image with the watermark so you're going to tap on upload from computer once more and you're going to add the first image that we had created with the watermark we're going to be adding that image so to add that image all you'll need to do is select it right here so you can see the image right here with the watermark which will be the thumbnail image then you'll simply scroll down and from here you can set the price that you'd like to sell it for let's say ten dollars and you'll scroll down and you're going to tap on save in the bottom right hand corner now after you have done that all you'll need to do now you are going to set up the different payment methods that you would like to offer your customers and you can add more images by tapping on new product to set up the payment method you will go over to the left hand menu option scroll down and you are going to select billing and payments then select payments after you have done that you are going to tap on manage payment methods and then you'll simply add in your PayPal account and from there you can also sign up with Telopay and depending on the country or region you're in you will see different payment options that you can offer your customers once you are finished doing all of this you will simply tap on the X in the top right here then from there you can close this out so you're going to tap right there and after you're finished you can scroll down and you can see your image right here so as I said earlier this is the image that the customers will see so this is the thumbnail and you can see the watermark has been added but once they purchase the image they will receive a file or a link to click on and once they click on the link from their email they will receive your image all you'll need to do now is finish editing your website which is quite easy with Wix all you have to do is hover over the section that you'd like to edit tap on quick edit and you can make your changes then once you're finished you'll tap on save then after you have saved it you will be provided with a URL then tap on save and continue then from there you'll tap on publish in the top right hand corner and your website will now be live and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching so for example if I were to tap on the image right there you can see that it carries me to the product page so the customer would have to tap on add to cart right here to add it to their cart to make a purchase Thanks for watching.